Hi guys, welcome to a really quick video. I wasn't actually gonna record this video right now, but uh, this just arrived and I wanted to do a quick unboxing. As you know, I've done like a few videos on these before. I typically ski in a Rurock RG1DX helmet. Um, back in October, the Rurock guys announced that they were creating a light version of the helmet and I had to get it just to just to see what was going on. It's a really weird move for Rurok because there's no face guard. It looks more like a traditional helmet um, and the goggles are absolutely huge. So I ordered one of those uh, for this ski season. It's just arrived. Uh, next week, I'm heading over to Zermatt, which I'll give this a test as well. And if you guys are interested in a comparison of these two or you wanna know anything more about this, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, but this is gonna be slightly different from what I normally do. It's just an unboxing uh, and kind of a very first impressions video. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. So yeah, I've been skiing in those for like the last few years. Some people think that they look a bit odd. I love the way that you kind of, you're completely enclosed. Uh, right, let's just get this out. I don't have a fancy knife, just my uh, Swiss army knife. Box this bad boy. So, like we Rock normally do, I've done like a pretty cool job um, of the box. There's like the Rock logo kind of glossed on this matte box, and just the label letting you know that it's the core version. Um, I actually went with. They've got a ton of different colors, some really cool color colorways as well. I wanted to get a black one so that I can uh, just. Oh, that's nice. A bit of a cushioning there oh so this is the other thing these do come with like a face mark snood type thing that comes up over the years um, I've got a couple of those because I was gonna be skiing for like a couple of weeks in a row nice little baggie there for the goggles which aren't in the bag what else do we have oh shockwave Pods. I will do another video on these. These are the Bluetooth um, headphones for music. You can take phone calls on these. On the RG1DX, I also have not these particular ones, but another line that clips into the back um, so you can get music. Or if you're my girlfriend, I uh, like to sing to her as I'm going down the slopes, which she absolutely loves. Don't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I did get a yellow lens and the reason being is that I have tried a lot of the other low light lenses and the yellow one for me just seems to work best. Um, I do want to give the rose one a, a little go. If you have a rural rose, rose lens, let me know if it's worth buying. I think they come in a, you've got like the low light one, you've got the transition lens um, and then there's also a uh, set of polarized lenses as well as the normal uh, iridescent lenses. Okay, so this is the helmet bag. Some instructions, which I'm sure I'll read later on. Oh, and the box it, on the inside is also padded as well, which is really nice. Mm. The uh, RG1 DX, I don't know whether they've changed that for this season, but all five of the other helmets that I've bought have just come kind of in a box and in a bag. So let's open this up. That is nice. Ooh. So now I know why there's nothing in the goggle bag. The goggles come in this beautiful kind of soft shell case. Oh, that's amazing. One, one of the things about the uh, old helmet is that I used to carry um, the uh, spare lenses that I was taking with me into in like a goggle bag and shove that in my bag and I was always worried that if I fell I was gonna break them. This is beautiful, right? Let's just open that up. Oh it goes all the way around here. Oh I just wish I had like some smoke or something that came out then. Oh wow. They're a lot smaller than I thought they were gonna be. As in they're they're bigger this way but they're not just kind of fat and chunky. 
um, the old lenses were quite fat. Um, oh, those are nice. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I think that's going to look good. It's all about the look. Okay, let's just set those aside for a second so I can get this helmet out and show you. That is sweet. Cool Rurok logo in the inside there. Um, it's like minimally padded as well, which is great. Um, so apparently you can remove this liner if you want to wear a beanie underneath it. Um, and the goggles you can go strap over or strap under. Um, I know that's like a big thing at the moment. Okay, let me just try this on first. Oh, so this is the other thing. This All of the ho um, helmets come with a fid lock. Some of the older RG1 DXs um, came with this. The newer ones come with this as standard. My Magnum one, which was a special edition one from a few years ago, came with this. But my other ones don't. It's, it's so much better when you're trying to put this on with gloves on. Check this out. There's a slight adjustment uh, wheel at the back, which is great. Uh, I remember having these on some of my other helmets. The good thing about this is like really nicely padded and it just feels good. Feels good. Feels, you want to feel it? No? Feels good. Um, the weird thing for me is that the goggle retainer is... It almost feels like it's the wrong way around. I don't think I've ever seen a helmet with it that way around, but maybe other people have. It just feels like that that would come off as opposed because it's not going to go down around your neck really. But so on, like the like the POC helmets, the and a few other helmets, like high-end helmets, you have like a little switch where you can close off the vents when it's a, a really cold day. I don't think I'm ever really going to have a problem with that. I'm always running hot anyway. Yep, crazy frog. Eat your heart out. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put the goggles over for the time being. Don't shoot me in the comments for that. Oh, so that's cool. This is like shaped up on the ears here, which means that it's, um, it's not going to fall down as much as some of the other ones I've got, and you've got a little tie there as well. I feel like, hang on, let's adjust this, shall we? The helmet size is perfect. Um, so if you wear a uh, medium large in a um, 1DX, it's the same. Let's just put this on here. My girlfriend's holding a sign up saying that I look like SWAT, which um, I actually, <laughs> I feel like SWAT. How does that look? Just need to get on a pair of skis again now. So I need to adjust the goggles because it's a little bit loose. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty bad boy. Maybe I should have worn all black today. Just, uh, maybe I need a new ski outfit that's all black. The goggles feel pretty cool. This helmet is a lot lighter. It's very cool. I can't actually see anything though, because it's pretty dark, but. Okay, so this is it for this video. Uh, this is the Rurok Light. I will be testing this on the slopes over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'll be in uh, a couple of uh, ski resorts in Switzerland over Christmas. A friend of mine let me know yesterday that he has got the camo version coming so we can do a quick comparison and see what that looks like in real life. And we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and uh, check out some of my other videos as well. Bye.